I hope you had a wonderful weekend, okay? This is a weekly throw for the week starting November 13th. Yes, November 13th, okay. What I did was general relationships and finances and career, okay? Um, I think that we can cover a little bit more that way. I get a lot of questions about, can you cover this? Can you cover this? Can you cover this? These are general throws, guys, so what I'm pulling on is the energy. I can't change that. So, um, but I can incorporate different facets that I can do. Okay. But anything more specific, um, we're going to need a private reading for that. Okay. But I think that this should work. Okay. Um, we come in with the imagination card. Okay. As, um, the overall energy. And I think that it's great. Right. We got this too, I believe, uh, during the weekend or sometime in the past, very near past, we've gotten it. And we have it again because that's the energy we come into, right? And if you look at it, this card is very, very similar to the moon card, okay? It's spiritual change. And on that level, there's nothing you can't change in the material, okay? They go hand in hand. It's when we cut off one um, and we're not connected that we notice things. It's like, hmm, like our energy just depletes, right? So... What I want to say here is we come in with the Nine of Cups, the Wish card, okay, the um, Knight of Cups, the Three of Coins, and the Moon card. All right, what I think is happening here is you're truly in alignment with what your blessings are, what you are grateful for, what the true things that you value are, and that's what the Nine of Cups is. It's a card of abundance because now you know what abundance really is to you, right? Um... The Knight of Cups is about, uh, this is a is a emotional journey. It's a heart-strung, filled, open, receptive, vulnerable, intimate relationship with yourself and with the world around you, right? And that pulls in the relationships that we want in any facet. It pulls in the jobs that we're desirable about. It pulls in the joy, fulfillment, happiness, purpose, uh, pleasure, anything that, that you're looking for here. And I think what's happening is with the Moon card, it's allowed you that dreamy energy that almost um i guess it is just dreamlike but it's more um uh i don't know how it, it's doable right it's something that you know is just not a dream you wake up from it and and it passes you get out of bed and and life goes on this is like uh again a midsummer's night's dream it it really is tangible. You've just got to be open um, to believe that, that you can have it and that you're worthy of it and that you're open to receiving it, right? And that's what the three of coins is. I think that you really look at something, look at life, look at, you know, everything. The flowers are, are different colors and the life is just different. It's singing a different tune. You're vibrating at a different energy and you are the one that's pulling this in, right? This is what happens when we're open and flowing and we're not getting in our own way and we're not trying to co-pilot the universe and, and, you know, wingman our blessings. We're, we're just open to, you know what, I'll do my part and the universe will do its part. And I don't need to understand it with my five senses. I just know that it is, right? So that's, that's getting real, being open to creative energies, being open to um, 
dreams and goals and aspirations and, and, you know, you really just, what it does is it's the gateway. It's the gateway here to happiness. This is our, our relationships. It's not just our relationships with other people. I'll often get asked, um, when is the one coming, right? In all honesty, I'm going to have to take the fifth here as to what I'm, what I, I feel about that. But, but the one guys is you, you are the one and you pull in everything else in tandem to that. So you are the one you already have you. So you're waiting for something you already have, which is yourself. But until you realize that gift, which is you, nothing else really aligns, right? But what we've got here, this is amazing. Okay, we've got happiness. Okay. And we've got orgasm. And these are all luck cards, right? And we've got delight. And we've got luck. And for those of you that just flipped me off, stick around because I'm going to show you. You have nothing to lose here by just trying this. For the rest of you, this is amazing. Because happiness is, again, it's I'm going to be vulnerable. I'm going to put myself out there. I'm going to be open to receive. And I'm going to take the masks off. This is what I've got. You know, come what may, this is who I am. And ironically, I think that what's coming for you is tangible. It is absolutely tangible. So for those of you that think that I don't believe in magic, I don't believe in um, luck, I don't believe in good things coming my way, I believe I have to work with my, you know, head to the grindstone for everything and, and you know, it's got to be tough and it's got to be hard and I've got to, you know, struggle and suffer and strife. It's not true. I think what you're going to see here is it's aligning in a tangible way so that you can actually see that good things do come, that happiness does come, that things are uh, luck induced, that we can be uh, just good people and things come to us. We don't need to kill ourselves every single day. Okay. And you've got orgasm, delight, and luck. And I want to say here, this is just that culmination of energy, guys. Okay. It doesn't need to be sexual, sensual, although everything is right? So I think what again is coming to you is you're open now. Um, you are intimate with yourself, right? Into me, see, that's when we align with the people that are meant to be in our lives. And I think you're being discerning. And when you know who you are, right? When you've done the exploration of the intimacy, you align with the people that are also whole people, right? And this is, I think that all of this and this luck card at the end, I'm with that card. I really think that you, you, I think you come into riches here in very tangible ways, but that you're like, you're, you're shocked. You're just shocked at, at how you didn't have to do anything, but just show up for your life and be present, right? And be happy and be joy filled that it's really just, it can be a moment in time, but it's a catalyst. So if it is just a moment in time, if something is coming to you and you know, someone uh, has been admiring you or or whatever it can be the it can be a perfect career it can be anything that lights you on fire it can be a great glass of wine right it can be but this is tangible this changes your life this this changes your life and when and I think you realize that you don't need to struggle and do things alone I think when you let other people in this is what happens it's the fourth of July and then some right in any possible way okay and look, the sun is even shining on the happiness card. You've got to love that. Okay. Now on the bottom are finances and career. Okay. We've got the 10 of coins. We've got the six of swords. We've got the five of swords and we've got the queen of wands. Okay. What I want to say here is I think again, I just want to show you how one facet of life always carries over to the other. We can't have one part unhappy and expect another part to flourish. We can't. That's why we've got to really keep our lives always in a balanced, present, not multitasking arena, okay? And that really means just slowing down. And if you're doing too much that you can't slow down, you want to figure out where you can change that, okay? Um, now with the 10, I think what's happening here in your business arena, again, I think that something is going to come your way and it's going to be tangible. It's going to be uh, a surprise either in a bonus, someone's going to have been taking note of the things that you do, how you do things, 
you may be uh, opened up to uh, a promotion, a new job, you may come across something in a whole other company or or something opens up in the career arena here or the financial arena that just changes your life as well. And I really think it comes from this change that you've done here, right? I think that you know the true things that you value now. You're open to receiving daydreaming. You see things different and boom, it's the catalyst. You know, the universe does just circle the airport, guys, until we... Uh, you know, basically exhaust ourselves because that's sometimes what, you know, we were taught to do. So this is, you know, this is a great, um, a surprise about money is even what the card says, but I'm not going to go by what the cards say. I, I know what I feel here. Okay. Um, I want to say this too, for those of you that are, um, thinking about doing, this is not a time guys to be doing things that are underhanded. You're, you're basically being given gift after gift after gift from the universe because you're open, right? Take note of that. You don't need to do things, you know, superficially or underhanded or come from lack mentality. If you're not happy for someone because they're striving ahead, you need to look at why you're coming from a lack mentality and, and because it's you're entitled to the same exact things just that are specific to you. So if you're coming at someone who's getting a promotion with jealousy or, and I think that there are people in your surroundings that are helping you, but I also think that there's people you're not aware of that are, you know, jealous and undermined, but that's their issue. That's not yours. You want to stay in this place. Okay. And you want to keep, you know, keep this as uh, emotionally open and dreamy and um, abundant as you possibly can, okay? Because I think what happens here is just in you doing that, your energy uh, just pushes away the people that, that are trying to hold you back or trip you up. So you don't need to do anything, but just be you. The universe takes care of all the roadblocks in the way there, okay? And I think that someone is really taking note of you and they're... Um, they're either in your sphere now or they're going to align with you and it's going to open doors for you financially. Um, I think you come into money here. I think you come into tangible money here, but I think you also come into amazing relationships, new depths in relationships, new depths in acceptance of yourself. And what that does to those of you that are not in a relationship now is it pulls in a whole person. It pulls in the person that's right for you. So the odds of having to, you know, in, out, in, out, in, out of relationships, it stops. Okay, but what I also want to say in here, okay, is this is what you want to be striving for. Okay, not everyone wants to be in a relationship. I get that. Okay, but you need to be in a relationship with yourself to get other doors to open, to get your life to open, to get your joys, your passions, um, to get your finances to flow. So you need to be um, self-loving, self-honoring. Okay, when we're looking for a relationship to come in, the word looking is going to screw you up because you need to uh, take care of yourself first and then you're not longing for anything because you're whole, you're full, right? And the people that come along are just people you share your life with and that's great. But when you're longing for a relationship, it's it's showing that there's something within yourself that you're trying to fill a void with, with something on the outside and it's not going to happen because it's not someone's responsibility to make you happy. It's your responsibility. And what you do is you bring that forward. And this is when all of this beauty comes in, right? This can be sexual, absolutely, right? But it, it can be, it's so much more than that in this lineup, right? It, it's more than, it's more than that. It's, it's your life just explodes in a way that is beyond your consumption, right? Now, what I want to say here, um, if you're someone who's watching this and you're stuck in a rut, right? Meaning your life is a rut, but you're okay with that because you're not real ambitious. You're not really striving to get ahead. Try to take on this energy of really just, you know what, I'm going to wake up in the morning and Ed McMahon is going to have risen from the grave and he's going to be standing there with a check in my life. It's going to drastically change. I, I double dog dare you to just be open to things that you think are mystical because what's happening in this energy too is people that are really like oh I need to see it on paper first I'm not going to believe it's some woo woo thing people are starting to see things and hear things and experience things that are freaking them out because they've never been it's always been here you've just been cut off to it or not open to it or whatever but but you are now and you're starting to see things in a different way 
right? Expansion is possible. Learning is, you know, you're wanting to know more about more. And I think that that opens amazing doors for you. And it's all about letting your imagination free, right? Letting it free. I think that it's wonderful. I think you actually come into something here. This is really like, it's, it's luck. Like we're, it, it's luck like you're not used to, right? Like you may, you know, find a penny, pick it up. And then all of a sudden, like all the buzzers go off in the grocery store and you won a million bucks and free groceries for the rest of your life. It's just an example. Use it to, to really just, you know, oh my gosh, just take this week. You have nothing to lose. If you're watching this again, thinking, oh no, I really don't think so. I have to get down to business. You're shooting yourself in the foot. And look, now it's, the sun is, the sun is, is really coming across here. So we've got to take note of that. I'm a big believer in signs, right? So it's important. Be happy, be open. Your cups runneth over here. You've got the nine of cups and the 10 of coins, right? And you've got, you know, I think that do things above board, just do things above board. There's some of you in here, I already feel it, that are just, they're going to push the envelope because they don't think this is going to pertain to them. You've got to get out of that mindset. It, you really do. You know, and as this reading is going on, you've got to see the sunlight. Sun is, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's life force. It's here for you, telling you to engage in this. All right. Be open to it all. And I'm, I'm telling you, just flip the ways. If there's a certain area of your life that's tripping you up, do it in a complete opposite way this week. You've got nothing to lose. Just try it. OK, but I'm telling you what's sitting here and it's amazing. And that's the energy that we're in. OK, we want to be really clear with the people that are in our surroundings. OK, we don't want to be a windfall of just a people pleaser. We want to be real discerning with the people that we're allowing in our surroundings because when we don't do that and we allow everybody in and we become a chameleon, the universe is saying, all right, we'll just send the scraps in here because clearly this person doesn't really care about what's in their surroundings. Be discerning. Be crystal clear about the things that you want. And I'm showing they're going to show up here. And these are tangible things, guys. They're not things where, oh, it's a change in perspective. Oh, I see things different. You know, this is tangible. And it's tangible because that's when it's it's needed for here. And this is what it's been aligning for. So be open to it. Your life is about to shift. I promise you that. Okay. Things are coming to an end. Things are coming in new. You're seeing things differently. Your life is about to change literally on every single scale. So I think that this was lovely. Give me one moment. This was big. Okay. For those of you that thought in the past that you were with the right person and now you realize that's not it, we don't like to hurt people, no. But it's not your intention, I don't think. I think for some of you, you're coupled up with the people that you now realize are not really the people for you, but yet you're going to stay because you don't want to hurt someone or let's, we're all catalysts in other people's lives, right? The one is usually the one for the moment. You're helping someone on their journey and they're helping you. So you're not doing yourself or them any good. You're actually hindering this beautiful uh, energy from coming in when we stay in relationships or jobs or places or anything that we're not, that we're outgrown, right? Because we're keeping that person from learning their next step and you're keeping yourself from learning yours. So with the best of intention, release the people in your surroundings that are not um, in alignment with you anymore. And you can do that in a way that is self-honoring just because we break up with people or we're no longer married to people or in relationships with people doesn't mean we need to hate them. It doesn't. It just means that, you know, we're not great as a couple, but we're still wonderful human beings, just not together. That's very self-honoring and it doesn't rack up karma, which is consequence, right? It just says, you know what? I did the right thing. It's unfortunate that people get, get hurt, but it leads them to doors due to greater relationships. You know, so you've got to be, you know, honest with yourself and the people around you. And you've just got to do the right thing according to what the right thing is with you. And that's sacred. That's between you and the divine. That's not for someone else to judge. You know, what's what's good for you may not be good for someone else, but you need to be focused on yourself and your life and, and you know, making it as abundant um, and joy-filled as possible. There is an air through here too. Creativity. 
get your edge out. We we look so far as I don't know what my creative edge is. We don't know what it is because it's so blatantly obvious it sits in front of us. We forget. So take some quiet time and really there's nothing in your surroundings that you can't make something of. Every single one of us is creative and unique in some certain way. So so focus on yourself and stop worrying about what other people are doing and and why is this person getting a raise and I'm not getting one. Focus on yourself. Your raise is in some other arena. Be grateful and happy for the person that's getting that and, and your day is coming and it sits right here. So there you go. I hope that this helped you in some way. If you need a private reading, please reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to do anything for you. Okay. Thank you so much.